doing just that. As Brad Kloza explains, it's also helping scientists get a better understanding of how the human brain works. This small robot looks so complex, you might guess it has a mind of its own. Actually, it has this college student's mind. This cap reads Josh Storz's brain signals, turning his thoughts into robot action. To each hole, there's one wire that's attached, and then that wire conducts the electrical signal over to an amplifier, and then that uh, amplifies the signal, and then it, it conveys that to a computer that then does the rest of the processing. The University of Washington's Rajesh Rao is researching ways to listen in on the brain. Previously, scientists had to get under the skin or even the skull to receive adequate signals. What we are actually relying on is the fact that there's different types of brain responses that are generated in different regions of the brain, and in our case, we're only tuning in on just one particular kind of brain response. In this example, the robot moves one of two blocks from one table to another. The person decides which block goes where, but the computer and robot work out the individual steps, such as finding the blocks and moving feet and arms. Rao points out the reason the project has worked this far is the human brain's ability to adapt to the robot. The human in turn can adapt and learn the computer's response so that eventually they get to work together and sort of become one big uh, integrated system. But almost like communicating with a child, things don't always go right. Showing that mind reading robotics is a work in progress. I'm Brad Kloza. And those are today's tech lines.